Hi everyone. Today we're going to see how to make pav bhaji at home. It is very easy and super delicious. So to begin with, in a cooker, I've taken some water and to this I'll be adding around 2 medium sized potatoes, 2 roughly chopped carrot, some cauliflower, a little bit of salt, 1 cup of green peas and 2 medium sized roughly chopped tomatoes. Cover this with a lid and let it cook for around three to four whistles. Meanwhile, in a pan, I'll be taking some oil. To this, I'll be adding around two tablespoons of butter. I'll now be adding around two tablespoons of roughly chopped green chili, ginger, and garlic. To this, I'll be adding around two large, finely chopped onions. Mix this well and let it cook. Now that the onions have turned slightly brown, I'll be adding finely chopped capsicum. Here I've taken one large capsicum. Make sure your gas flame is on medium, and let this cook for around five to seven minutes. Meanwhile, our vegetables have been cooked well in the pressure cooker. I'll just mash this with the help of a masher and keep it aside. Keep stirring the onion and capsicum occasionally. Once they turn brown, it's time to add the dry masalas. I'll begin with adding around one tablespoon of dhania jeera powder, around one to two tablespoons of Kashmiri red chili powder. And now I'll be adding around two tablespoons of pav bhaji masala. Mix this well for around one to two minutes. I'll now add some water to this. Once this comes to a boil, add in some chopped coriander leaves and some kasuri methi to this. Mix it all well. And now it's time to add the mashed vegetables. Again give it a quick mix. Keep the gas flame high, let it boil. And now let it cook for around 5 to 7 minutes on medium flame. Add salt. Keep stirring occasionally, and post five to seven minutes of simmering on medium flame. Your pav bhaji is ready. Garnish it with some butter and chopped coriander leaves. Now for the pav that we're going to serve along with it, I've taken a pan. In this, I've added some butter, some dry masalas like red chili powder. turmeric and garam masala and a little bit of kasuri methi and now i'll just toast the pav in this and here your pav bhaji is ready to relish do try this super delicious and easy recipe